When was the last time you consulted your grammar book? When was the last time you consulted your English grammar book? I bet you it was a long time ago. But I tell you one thing, if you want to improve, if you want to hone your speaking skills, you need to go back to your English grammar rules. Study the patterns. Because each time you open your mouth to speak and you make one mistake, you can be forgiven. But if you make two, three, four, five mistakes, believe me, you're out. You are out. Because people listen to you to make meanings of what you are talking about. And if your sentences are filled up with grammar mistakes, believe me, you are out of the game. You can, there are many tenses in English and there are many grammar rules in English. But I'll tell you four important ones you should focus your focus your attentions on. First, it is simple present. Simple present in English is very important because most of the time you're either speaking in the present, in the past, in the future, or with the present perfect progressive. So let's go back to the simple present. Simple present is very important in English. So you need to learn or rehearse or reverse the simple present and simple present progressive. You need to learn the simple past and the simple past progressive. You need to learn the present perfect and the present perfect progressive. And finally, you need to also reverse the future. The future tense in English is very complicated because as, as, as an English teacher, I discovered that the English language somehow has no future. The future tense in English is a bit clumsy because you have the will, use will to express the future tenses or future things or future events. You use the B plus ING, that's the present progressive form, to speak about fixed events in the future. Why we use will to talk about something that is sure to happen in the future or something or a decision you just take at the moment. Something you have just taken the decision to do at the moment in the future, you use will. We also use the be the going to, meaning if you see something that's going to happen in the next five minutes or one minute or two minutes or one hour, you can look at it and say, oh, it's going to rain. That's a future event. That's called uh, pro, uh, future prosh. That is in French. Those who, who, who know how to who know French language, and then we have the be, the the present the simple present for timetables and fixed events. So you see, if you look at future in English, it's very crooked. It's not very. It's not a straightforward thing like French, for for example. French language future is clear and clean. In English, it's very very clumsy. So these are the things you need to learn so that when people are listening to you, they will know you are talking something very very sensible and has meaning to them. And so that's one thing, and I would like you to focus on if you really want to improve your speaking skills. And until next time, please keep shooting for the stars. Thank you.